Duffy to G-Man Choi. See, I told you, there's 30, 31st baseman that can make that play. What happened? Throw to second, that's fine. Adamas' throw back. Huh? No, we gotta take another look. And I know I'm going into replay a lot here, but I'm genuinely confused. Choi to Adamas, great. Throw to first. What? <laughs> Excuse me? The throw, I, I am, I have never been, I might be the most confused person in the world right now. Cause that ball's on its way to the, uh, to the, like the first row really. And then Diego Castillo's like, you know what? Force pull, baby. Got it. And then the foot is still on the base. And then he just leaps, because why not, I guess. But I've never, like, dude, Diego Castillo might be straight out of the Harry Potter books. Um, I mean, this has, this has to be accepted, right? What's going on, everybody? This is episode something of Rangers franchise. I'm in shock. I was simulating to the game I wanted to play. The Pirates have just offered us Josh Bell for Robinson Chirino straight up. And I think it's got to be like the biggest no-brainer thing of all time. Josh Bell, our first base solution in 84 overall, uh, a potential player for Chirinos, who's only here on a one-year contract. 79 overall and he's aging and the Pirates want this I mean it's gotta be it's a, I, we're accepting it I mean you can't turn that down it's bad for business if we turn that down so there you go now I gotta figure out a catching situation I guess all right well what a weird start to the video but this I guess is now gonna be the lineup not really how I expected to start the video, but whatever works, I guess, right? So we're gonna have Chu, Elvis, Gallo, and then Bell kind of protecting Gallo. Calhoun, Frazier, Santana, Trevino, and then Rugnet Odor, batting nine. The bench is cluttered. I might just want to send down, maybe Hunter Cole could be an option to send down. But I, what we need, really, at this point, is uh, another bullpen arm. So if we go over here to the pitching rotation, we click X. Uh, we only have about seven pen arms, and none of them are great. Leclerc is good, but none of them are great. So I think that's the next trade we try to manufacture. But Josh Bell is on the team, folks. Josh Bell is on the team. So we're going to go ahead and play his first game yeah we're just we're gonna do it we're gonna play the first game of josh bell's ranger career it's versus ryan yarbrough we got kyle gibson on the mound and we'll see what uniforms we want to wear there's josh bell right there just hanging out on the screen not something i expected to ever see in this game dude mike zanino is hitting 619 and i'm not a fan all right, we're here again at Globe Life Field today, taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. They are six and one. We are five and three in the early season. Was gonna, planning on simulating a little bit further, but when destiny calls, you you gotta answer. You know, we're pitching with Kyle Gibson here in the home white uniforms. I don't remember who pitched in the last episode. Maybe it was Kyle Gibson. I don't think it was. It's uh, it's fully possible that maybe it was. But we'll take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays starting lineup. Joey Wendell, Jose Martinez, the new addition from St. Louis for them. Austin Meadows, Crow, not Crow, Low. I don't know what I'm reading. G-Man Choi, Adamez, Yandy Diaz, Zunino, and then whoever the ninth pitcher is. Jose Martinez aggressively bat-waggling. I mean, inner Gary Sheffield we're talking about here. Apparently, he's signed out of Venezuela, which is exciting. Jose Martinez is kind of a big guy, isn't he? Fly ball, center field. I believe that's Santana out there for us. We make the catch. That's a ground ball. Duffy's got to get there. He does, uh, but it's not close. But Josh Bell makes the pick. 
incredible just over there looking at, like he's a god. Not really, but like, you know, it's exciting to have him. Gibson gets through one on the strikeout. All right, here is Ryan Yarborough. He's 1-0 and with a 0 ERA. He's pitched six innings, apparently. Uh, so there you go. Andrews rocking the red shoes, despite the fact that we are wearing blue very clearly. So, way to go, Elvis. It's tough. Oh, the throw's wild. Andrews is safe at first. What a way to start the game. G-Man Choi unable to keep his foot on the bag. We'll take another look because I wasn't really paying attention. Um, I think it was the red glove over there for Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz just really threw it off. Does Nick Solak have the most egregious leg kick ever? I think he might. Sure, we'll show our starting lineup. I don't think I've talked about it. If not, I will edit this part out. It's Andrew Select Gallo, who's struggling. Josh Bell, the new addition. Calhoun, Santana, Duffy, Kiner Falefa plays second, and Jose Trevino, the catcher, for today, trying to get some players some rest. Already got some low energy on the team. As Gallo unloads on one to right center, but it is just a little too high and not enough deep. Uh, not great English from me. Here's the new guy. It's Josh Bell. It is crazy that the Pirates just offered him to us. But whatever. You know, this is what we're doing now. This is the Josh Bell debut on the team. All right, we need a hit here with Bell. That's got to be step one. I'm loving the white cleats, white gloves. Bell is rocking. As we foul it away again. It's fine. Bell, right side base hit. First career at bat as a Texas Ranger is a base hit. Retire now, Bell. I mean, he's the best Ranger to ever live. Uh, batting a thousand for us. I mean, literally on track for an infinite number of hits until he retires. So I guess not infinite if he's retiring at some point. Calhoun is going to get that to drop. We're going to try to go first to third with Bell, who's showing off the wheels, and he's safe. Josh Bell can do it all. He can run, he can hit, he can feel a little bit. I'm a rapper now. It's insane. I've got unbelievable flow. I don't know what to tell you guys. I've got more flow than progressive. Now, of all the Rangers pitchers right now, I am least familiar with Kyle Gibson. Uh, in addition, in addition, in addition to from the Twins, dude, can I talk right now? That'd be crazy. Matt Duffy this time makes the play, but he's an addition from the Twins this off season. One of like two or three starting pitcher additions, as we'll show the defense, because why not? Duffy plays third. That's a difference. Kander Falefa gives Odor the day off, and Jose Trevino the new catcher because. Uh, we traded our other catcher for Josh Bell. Rest in peace, Robinson Chirinos come back to Texas. It lasted like an entire week, so good job. We strike out Adamez swinging. Insanity. Take another look, I guess. Look at that throwing form. The ball leaves the frame for no reason, because it's a video game, you know. You should be able to, uh keep the ball in frame, but Adamez strikes him out. A shout out to the virtual cameraman, I guess, as Jose Martinez is batting again. Is that not? I guess it wasn't. Was it? Falefa lines it, and he's out. It's tough. But here's Jose Trevino. Trevino. I think it's Nio. Trevino feels more right than Trevino. Trevino just sounds like not right. Well, Zanino is batting like 619 right now, so uh, safe to say I am not a fan. Not a big fan of facing him right now. 
Mike, I'm gonna need you to uh, stop it. The sinker's working for Kyle Gibson today. Third strikeout already. It's insane. Kevin Kiermeyer, that's crazy. He's batting in the nine hole for them. I mean, it's not crazy. He's not a great hitter. He's much better than I am. But I'm also not a professional baseball player paid millions of dollars by a professional organization to hit and field. So, there you go. First real problem of the night. We're 3-0 and here to Joey Wendell. Or Wendell. I have no idea on some of these names. Clearly. I, Wendell? I'm going to go Wendell. Somebody tell me in the comment section if that's right. The first name is definitely Joey, though. I feel confident that that one's Joey. And you're probably like, well, no, no duh, Josh. That's going to fall, though. We're going to have to face Jose Martinez for, like, the fifth time today already. He's really got that Gary Sheffield bat movement down, man. Ground ball, Kiner Falefa, hyphen makes the play. Josh Bell, still perfect in a Rangers jersey. Can do no wrong. Solak hits it in the left center. Man, we're just not on it. I just can't figure out Solak's swing, which is unfortunate. Because I kind of need him to be good. You know? That would be helpful for the organization. It really would be. Ah, uh, very unfortunate. G-Man Choi comprehended defense for a minute there, and it's uh, very much not what I want. You know, it's almost fitting we're playing the Rays in this video, because now the Rangers in this franchise series and the Rays have both just fleeced Pittsburgh on trades. Sending Archer to Pittsburgh for Meadows and I believe it was Glasnow, is that right? And now sending Chirinos straight up for Josh Bell. Not sure what they're doing, but we'll take it. Somebody fire the GM. Uh, who's the Pittsburgh GM? Who is a Pittsburgh GM? I feel like that's something I should know. Pittsburgh... Pirates... GM. Who are you? Okay, Ben. Uh, ben Charrington. Yeah, you need to be fired like immediately. Like you need to be fired for this trade in the video game, but like in real life. Like there needs to be real life repercussions for the trade you just made to me. Legitimately. Can Duffy make this play? Oh. Quick plant and throw. What a play. All right, here is the man of the video, Josh Bell. He's at the plate. He's one for one today. I believe he has a single. Looking to do some more here. Switch hitter. We got a lefty on the mound. I believe he... I need to check. Hold on. Time. Sorry. I, I apologize to every... Nope. I know he's... I know his stats. Yeah, he's not as good versus lefties. But the fact that he's a switch hitter is actually huge. Ground ball. It's going to be fielded. We got good good on a pitch way out of the zone. So, unfortunate. But I guess, you know, every good run has to come to an end. And now we're going to have to find a trade for Josh Bell. Because it's just it's not going to work out here in Texas. I mean, ground out in the middle of the fourth inning. Start the fourth inning, really. Just, you can't have that happen. You know? Danny Santana up the middle of base head. He's playing pretty well this year. Uh, which you love to see. So that was just taken right back up the middle. Sorry, on that pitch, I don't know what I was looking at. I mean, I could tell you what I was looking at. I was looking at that right there. I'm going to zoom in. I was just, like, so confused. I was like, what on earth is that? 
But then the pitch was coming in, and I was like, oh, God. And I just I spammed the swing button, and it was just overall a bad experience for everybody. Sucked. Matt Duffy might be a really good fielder. That one's up the middle of base hit. Finding some life here is Tampa Bay. That ball sucked. Another base hit. All right. Kyle. We got to uh, we got to start figuring out how pitches work a little bit. Kiermaier to Duffy. To Kiner Falefa. To Bell. A double play to get out of the inning. You know what? I never doubted Kyle Gibson for a second. There was never a doubt we were getting out of the end. Matt Duffy made sure of it. Kiner Falefa, the best backup catcher to also play second base in the league. And don't give me, like, Russell Martin, I think, did that one time. Don't give me that. It's Isaiah Kiner Falefa is the best person to ever do that. What am I swinging at? Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Gotta find a way. Can't go down These pitches are, like, historically slow. It's bad. Like, 85 is, like, the hardest pitch he throws, right? Maybe the sinker's a little faster, but, like, it's not touching 90. Just gotta sit back, wait on the pitch, and crush it to left like Trevino just does. And it's caught out there by Jose Martinez. What an unbelievable catch. And he sucks at fielding also. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. And now Elvis hits a ball well out to right field, but it's caught. That Austin Meadows. Man, besides Kiermaier, this raise outfield defensively is terrible. It is brutal. Yeah, uh, Trevino, dude, we gotta catch the ball. Your name is not Gary Sanchez. You have to catch the ball. Kyle, you, you gotta throw strikes, too. This is bad. Popped up. Get there, Matt. He did. What a catch. Going away from home plate, down the line. Not an easy play. Not a play that oftentimes MLB the show, like... I don't know what they're called. Players? But I guess I'm the player. Josh Bell makes an incredible catch. And by incredible, I mean I'm just trying to make him look good for the video. But he made the catch. That sucked. Kind of Falefa, heroic dive. Did not get there. He's going to Santana's throw. He's gunned. I don't know what he's thinking about. We get him out at second, though. Kyle Gibson threw like six here. It's going well. Going really well for Gibson. He's allowed five hits, but like, you know, none of them. He's only been in trouble really like one time, right? I think right now we're just a little bit swing happy. I had to swing at that one, though. That one is crushed out to left center, and it's not going to leave. We're under it. God, dude. That sucks. We hit it 101 miles an hour and it doesn't leave. But the PCI wasn't on it, so... It is what it is. Yeah, the sinker's only 88. Like, these pitches are slow, man. It's 0-2 here to Bell. We had kind of a pitcher's duel happening, and that's more of a product of I'm... just bad at the video game. Bell, off of Yarbrough's shin. Run, Bell. I feel like the speed of Bell just does not match the effort. Wait, yeah, the speed does not match the effort. Yarbrough's gonna be a little bit shaken up. I just feel like it's like one of those cartoon characters where it looks like he's trying really hard to run really fast, and then he's just not able to, as Yarbrough's waving off the trainers, virtually, of course. Not really sure how I hit that with Bell, but we'll take it. No, I didn't swing. Oh, he... Son of a bullpen may be pretty active right now. Luis Garcia, we gotta warm you up, man. It's gotta happen. Uh, yeah. We'll start there and then figure it out. Figure it out as we go. That's gonna be the play. Ground ball. Oh, Duffy almost made a phenomenal catch. 
Try a big old curveball here, maybe. Ground ball, Bell. Can we start the double play? He can. Sick. A 3-6-1 double play off G-Man Choi. We'll take another look. It's a ground ball at Bell. He throws it to first. Unbelievable athleticism. I mean, there is... There's 30 teams in the league. There is 28 first basemen that could make that play, but Josh Bell makes that play the best. I'm already, I'm already calling. I am in love with Josh Bell. And it's not just because we have the same first name. It's, uh, it's more than that. It's an emotional bond we have, really, at this point in our, in our GM player relationship. I'll call it. I'm going to try to sneak a fastball here by Willie Adamas, and then he's going to hit a home run, and I'm going to be upset. Oh, he didn't swing. What a pitch by Kyle Gibson. All right, well, Santana's one of the few hitters that I've had decent swings with today. So we're going to try to continue that, though they do have Diego Castillo, the fireballer, and then Colin Poche uh, warming in the pen. Santana hooks one in the center field, and it sounds weird to say he hooks it in the center field, but that ball was 100% hooking, just based on the camera angle. He's two for three today, I'm pretty sure. We'll take another look at it. Look at this, just a hook up the middle. A little bit of draw action, and that's going to do it for Ryan Yarbrough, looks like. Fireballer Diego Castillo in the game now. Mike Zunino is not blocking a 99 mile an hour fastball in the dirt. There's just no way that happens in real life. It's it's not possible. 99 spiked. He is not blocking it and he's certainly not keeping it in front of him. There's no way. Did the wind change by the way? I'm pretty sure it was blowing out the center field earlier. Maybe a cold front's blowing in. Hit to first. Duffy to G-Man Choi. See, I told you, there's 30, 30 first basemen that can make that play. What happened? <laughs> the throw is wild. Did he tag him out? Throw to second, that's fine. Adamas' throw back. Huh? <laughs> we gotta take another look, and I know I'm going into replay a lot here, but I'm genuinely confused. Choi to Adamas, great. Throw to first. What? <laughs> Excuse me? The throw, I, I am, I have never been, I might be the most confused person in the world right now. Because that ball's on its way to the, uh, to the like the first row really and then Diego Castillo's like you know what force pull baby got it and then the foot is still on the base and then he just leaps because why not I guess but I've never like dude Diego Castillo might be straight out of the Harry Potter books I'm not even lying I have never been more confused in my life than I am right at this moment it's like going 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 gone Force pull, foot still on the base, ballerina jump. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> Kiner Falefa has this one not glitch into Castillo's glove. Incredible. That might be his first hit of the year. Not positive, but it is fully possible. So is Yandi Diaz's name, and this is, can be another comment, because I'm just all about commenting how you pronounce people's names. Is it Yandy, like candy, but with a Y, or is it like Yandy, like I'm yawning because I'm tired with like a D-Y? Elvis, unable to get there. That would have been an incredible play, but it's fine. It is what it is. If Kyle Gibson can get through one more inning, I'd be down, and he's got the right part of the order to do it. This guy's really attacking hitters well Popped up Bell. Not sure why it always gives you the first baseman on these plays, but he's going to make the catch. Evade the, uh, evade the shrapnel. 
Now we gotta get Kiermaier to ground into a double play and we are set for life, man. I don't know what percentage of pitches I've thrown today that have been sinkers, but I bet it's high. Wait, is there a way to check that? Uh, pitch breakdown. 84%. Nope, that's not right. 84% strike percentage. 49 by 79. I don't know. Somebody who's good at math can tell me what that percentage is. Ground ball off of Gibson. No, it was a double play ball, but we missed it. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, not great, to be honest. Wendell is going to hit it to uh, right. It's Jose Martinez. We're sticking with our man right now. Sticking with Kyle Gibson. Strike one. He wants it up and away. I don't love this pitch, but we're going to throw it. He struck him out. Kyle Gibson. Through eight. Shutout innings. He's got a gem working. An absolute gem. There's just no way. All right, Elvis walks on four pitches. Yeah, I'm pulling up. I don't know. I don't have an answer. I just, I don't have an answer. I don't know where my hitting ability went, but it's not here right now. For sure. Oh, Joey. Hits it high and deep to right, and it is way out. Knew it when he hit it. What? 108 off the bat. I mean, it felt amazing. I know you guys are like, it's a video game. How does it feel amazing when you hit a ball? I, it felt amazing. All right, perfect, perfect. The ball with Gallo, it'll make sense to you. 414 off the bat. It was just a missile, I believe. We'll take another look here. Gallo just destroys it. Kind of drops the bat, you know. We're going to get probably a tracer here. Just an absolute missile out of the ballpark. It brings up Josh Bell, who gets to bat lefty. He's gotten to hit both sides today. And he rocks it, but it's caught. <laughs> Tough. I feel like he's hit. His two outs have been hit really hard. But one of his hits may not have been. I don't remember. That's right, Joey Gallo. I don't know what that face was. But, uh... You know what? When he's not making weird faces on the cutaway screen things, that's what we're officially calling it. Cutaway screen things, that's right. It's a technical term. Uh, he's hitting bombs. For sure. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Garcia's warming up. Sorry, dude. I, you've been warming up for like 45 minutes. That's my bad. It's all three lefties do up, huh? We're going to warm up uh, Brett Martin as well, then. That ball's in a right. Gallo coming on. Makes the play. There's one out. Here, look at the pitch count efficiency. The third inning's tough. But we're getting through it efficiently, and that's been the difference here for Kyle Gibson. Hasn't really run into a ton of trouble. He's run into a little bit. I think it was the third. He threw the most pitches. So that probably was the inning he had the most trouble. But right now, it may be the fifth. But right now, only having 88 pitches at this point, eight and a third through the game, is crazy. We're going to throw another sinker low and away. Get branded low to chase. Or Lau. Dude, the Rays names are confusing. Bell. Blocks it like he's Mike Zanino. Throws it to first and he's out. We're an out away from a shutout here with Gibson. And it's going to be G-Man Choi. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully it's G-Man Choi. Strike one. I don't understand how Choi has so many at-bats against Kyle Gibson. Ground ball. That'll do it. Kiner Falefa fields it. Throws it over to the new Josh Bell. And we end the game. And we get a really close up of Woodward here. Incredible. The Rangers win. Three to nothing here against Tampa Bay. I was going to say the hated Tampa Bay Rays, but really not that hated if we're being honest. But there you go. Yarbrough gets the loss.
Kyle Gibson obviously gets the win. Complete game shutout. Hard to argue with that. Allows eight hits, but it's fine. Kyle Gibson improves to 2 and 0. Really helps the ERA there. That's it, pretty much. I think that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Like and subscribe if you made it this far, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.